Hey everyone, welcome back to Dad's Liquor Cabinet. Today we're bringing you a drink from Carthay Circle Restaurant and Lounge at Disney's California Adventure. Every single time we're in Disney's California Adventure, we always check out Carthay. We really love the food there, the atmosphere, but more importantly, the cocktails. The cocktail we're making today is the Tequila Daisy. Now, Daisy in Spanish is margarita. So anybody that's had a classic margarita, you're gonna love this drink. It's just a different version that Carthay puts on their menu. Now let's make sure we have all of our necessary tools to make this cocktail. We're gonna need a tin mixer, a jigger, a bar spoon, cocktail tweezers, a juicer, fine mesh strainer, classic Hawthorne strainer, and a knife for our juice. Before we build our cocktail, we're gonna get some of our ingredients ready. This cocktail calls for pasteurized egg whites. Now we made sure we got some from the store, and I'm gonna measure out a half ounce. Next, we're gonna grab a fresh lime so that we can get our lime juice prepared. Now we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna cut the lime lengthwise in half. Grab your juicer and you're gonna take your lime and place it down like so. Now I'm gonna get a little juice carafe ready to capture all the juice. Take your other half and do the same thing. Now as a general rule of thumb, a lime will yield about one ounce of lime juice once you've actually squeezed it and that's exactly what we need for this cocktail. All right, all of our prep is done. We're gonna go ahead and place these things to the side and we're gonna start building our cocktail. We're gonna start with the main ingredient, which is the tequila. We're using Don Julio Reposado tequila. Now, in case you don't know a little bit about tequila, make sure that you're not confusing Anejo with Reposado or Blanco. Reposado is only aged about two months to a year where Anejo is gonna have a little bit more of an age to it and changes the flavor completely. So the Reposado is what we're looking for for this cocktail. The next ingredient, which is a key ingredient to me for any margarita, is Cointreau. Some recipes say that you can sub Cointreau for another orange liqueur, or even worse in my opinion, triple sec. I think Cointreau really makes a phenomenal margarita. Next ingredient is some agave nectar. We're using Monin. And then the ingredients that we already previously prepared, the lime juice and the egg white. Okay, let's go ahead and measure out our ingredients. We're gonna take our jigger and we're gonna measure out an ounce and a half of tequila. Add to the mixing tin. With our Cointreau, we're gonna measure out half ounce. We're gonna add two pumps of our Monin Agave. If you don't have a pump, this is a half ounce. Now's the time to grab our fine mesh strainer. We'll put that on top of the mixing tin and we're gonna measure out one ounce of our prepared lime juice and we pour it through the fine mesh strainer. Reason why we use a fine mesh strainer is to just capture any excess pulp that may have come through when we strained our lime. To this, we'll add our egg whites. Now, I asked my friend Cam, who is a professional bartender, and just wanted to corroborate my opinion, which is when you actually use egg whites, I like to do a dry shake, and he agreed with me as well. A dry shake allows you to really build up a frothy cocktail with those egg whites before you integrate it within the ice. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna do it the Carthay way. We're gonna grab some ice and add it directly in to your mixing tin. Now make sure when you're using a mixing tin, you wanna make sure you have a really good seal. So place it on top, a good tap on top, Good tap on bottom. Now we have a good seal. Now it's time to shake. Now to release your tin, all you have to do is simply hit the top part with the palm of your hand. Grab your Hawthorne strainer, your cocktail glass, and pour your cocktail directly into your glass. Now for the secret ingredient that Carthay adds, creme de violet or creme yvette. We're gonna go ahead and measure out a quarter ounce. All right, we're gonna grab our bar spoon, turn it upside down and pour the creme de violet right on the back of the spoon. What this is doing is allowing the creme de violet to fall directly to the bottom of your cocktail glass. Lastly, grab our cocktail tweezers, grab our prepared garnish. The prepared garnish we have here is a candied violet and place that directly on top of the cocktail. And here you have 
the Tequila Daisy. Let's give it a try. Looks beautiful, you can definitely see the layer there. And again, the egg white foam on top. That's a great margarita. The flavors are really good. The lime is not overpowering. And again, I love Cointreau in a margarita. This is delicious. Now for the cocktail enthusiasts out there, this is not a traditional margarita. You definitely have the egg whites, which is not traditionally a part of margarita, and the creme de violet in there. So all things considered, I think this is a new take on it, or an old take, considering it's from Carthay. Are you gonna try making the Tequila Daisy? If so, let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, from our magic family, yours, enjoy.